All right, so here's my shader graph. I just used a vector math node. This doesn't even really need to be here. I was just checking it for a bug that I found. So we're adding object color to UV and then using that as a texture channel for a sprite sheet. And I'm using Python to drive it. Um, animation is not working for some reason in the game engine for this particular thing. So if I connect this up and disconnect my Python, nothing happens. But if I connect this up, we have a fireball playing. And then in the viewport, if I hit play, it's working. So it's just something to do with actions and I think BPY and threading. Python works, actions don't. I think I have a feeling if you make it so that actions work, Python might not. So that's a pretty simple script. We just have a property, R, and we add to it each frame. And this is eight frames wide, so eight divided by, one divided by eight is 0.125. So that's how we get at that number we're adding to it. So when it gets over one, it resets. So when it gets to here, it goes back to here. This might be more fluid, we'll see. Yeah, it is. It was playing the same frame twice before. So yeah, there's a sprite sheet animation there. The thing gets a little too close to the edge of the sprite for my tastes. Like you can see a little bit of lining there. There's a quick fix for that though. We could take the shader editor and put geometry converter vector math we could take this location and this position and subtract them then a gradient texture and a sphere and then this is the alpha channel multiply maybe there we go so now it doesn't get near there because it fades so we just kind of fix the sprite and you can scale this vector and it'll change the size of the gradient so how far it fades so yeah there's a sprite sheet animation being driven by object color thanks for watching